Uh, my name is Harsha Ravan. Uh, I'm the general manager for Lawson Fuses in UK. Uh, we have operations in um, northeast of UK in Pontland. We also have a factory in Vadodara, India, but uh, we sell globally. We also have a sales office in uh, Dubai. Um, Middle East is a very important uh, market segment for us, not only for the Lucy Group, but also for Loss and Fuses. Uh, for me, the prime objective today would be, or the next three days would be, to look at uh, and speak with more customers and increase the market share for our business in uh, Middle East. Um, most of it is very confidential, which we cannot tell, but most of our products that will be launched in the coming months and weeks uh, would be towards the renewable sector, uh, but we are also looking into improvements of our existing product line, which goes into switch gear. We are also looking at uh, specific territories, which requires a uh, different level of certification. So those are the product improvements that, and launches that we will, you can expect from us in the next 12 months. The main differentiation for working with Lawson Fuses is about service, quality, and product certifications. Um, see, Fuse is a very simple product. That's how people think in the mind. But it is not always so. When you uh, look at Fuse as a safety device, uh, you need to have right level of quality uh, because you have risk of safety there. You also need to have right product certifications. If it goes into Middle East, uh, for example, Saudi has a different level of certification. We do have them, right? Um, and of course, uh, if you look at uh, the most important differentiation, finally, would be for me people. It's all about workmanship. So we bring the British engineering to Middle East. Uh, for me, uh, the outcome of this event should be more customer touch points. Um, increased business. Uh, we would want to expand our distributor network within uh, Middle East and this is a fantastic opportunity. We have met so many people in the last two days. Uh, so for us the measure of a success would be if we can get another three or four good distributors in this area we would be more than pleased. Uh, Middle East Energy is one of the largest events. For example, uh, my assumptions were proven wrong this year because we assume that there'll be more Middle East people coming into these events, but we had customers from India, we had customers from Asia Pacific, Africa, Americas. So Middle East Energy not only does service to Middle East, but on a global front, it brings people together. Um, see, yeah, at, the, at the end of the day, um, you know, if you want the right level of uh, safety in a fuse gear equipment, uh, you need to work with the best in the industry. There are many companies who are best other than us. There are very few companies who can compete on service quality and standards. So if you're coming to Middle East Energy, come and have a look at our stand, look at our product line, uh, try our products, and you may like it. So thank you. See, if you look at uh, the global energy transition, there are two transition pathways. One is electrification, one is hydrogen. Whichever pathways you look at, more electrification or more hydrogen, there are going to be more connection points in the power distribution network. More connection points means more fuse gear, more fuse gear means more fuses. So that's how I relate that any energy transition happening now, it's going to favor fuse gear and switch gear businesses. See, if you look at uh, United Arab Emirates, um, you know, in terms of energy transition, they have promised that by 2030 to 2050, they will bring in um, maybe 30 to 40 percent renewables. Naturally, it's difficult for a country that's based purely on oil and fossil fuels. Um, but we believe in Middle East, and Middle East have a goal for uh, decarbonization. We would like to ride the wave. Um, the more uh, renewables they move into, we have fuses that we are designing that can cater the renewables in the near future. So we want to ride the wave uh, along with the Middle East uh, on decarbonization. Thank you.